Guys, I am back. So you might've seen my video a couple weeks ago where I talked about how I was done with blockchain tutorials unless I got some feedback from you all, you know, whether you wanted to see these or not. And I was overwhelmed by all the positive response that I got from you all. And it really means a lot. You know, I've had some time to step back away from making these tutorials, but I'm ready to come back and make another tutorial for you all. And this one's going to be awesome. So I want to tell you about it in this video, but I also want to talk about something else. As I've stepped back from making these tutorials, I've had a lot of time to reflect on where we are with blockchain technology and where I think this whole crypto space is headed. And I think it's about to get really exciting. In a lot of ways, it already is. It's just that more people don't know about it. And I want to talk about that as a blockchain developer. So if you're new around here, you know, you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel, especially if you want to see more blockchain tutorials. And if you want to take the next step and master blockchain from scratch, I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So one of the reasons I make these tutorials in the first place is because blockchain is such an exciting technology with massive growth potential. And I think things are about to get really exciting really soon. Because let's be honest, you know, the past couple of years have been a little bit boring Truly, but that's okay. Like that's just kind of how technological innovation happens. You typically have this period of slow, consistent, steady effort where it looks really boring and then boom, something major happens. You know, we saw this in 2016, 2017 when cryptocurrency prices, you know, hit their all time highs. We had ICOs that got a lot of people interested in blockchain technology, including me. But when a lot of people got into the space, they just saw dead ends. They said things like, you know, show me the use cases or where are the dApps? But this time it's totally different. And I want to talk about that. So the thing that I'm talking about is a crypto cycle. And this is basically a uh, technological innovation that's accompanied by rising cryptocurrency prices. And I'm not necessarily going to try to explain the relationship between these two things. You know, the whole correlation causation debate. I'll leave that up to somebody else. But we've seen these kind of cycles in the marketplace in the past and also these cycles of technological innovation. And if history repeats itself, which I think it will simply because of human nature, uh, then we're going to see another crypto cycle at some point. And I think there's a really good chance that we're in the early phases of another one. Okay, it's starting to feel a little bit 2016, 2017-ish. Uh, so I'm going to back that up in this video and tell you why. Okay, so as always, this is not financial advice. I'm just going to lay out my thoughts on where we are in this space and where we could be headed in the you know short to midterm. So first of all, there's just something in the air, all right? And I think it's an indicator of people's psychology, which has a huge impact on these cycles, okay? So it's kind of hard to define, but I'm going to try to explain it right now. I mean, first of all, I've seen lots of big YouTube channels with like millions of followers talking about, you know, oh, now's a good time to get into Bitcoin and all this kind of stuff. And this is only possible uh, when you have a lot of distance between the last major price correction. So why is that? Well, first of all, there's two groups of people. Is it the people that were here the last time the price corrected big time or just brand new people, right? So if you have people that were here last time and didn't leave, then they need enough time to you know give it a second chance. And for the new people who weren't here, uh, who didn't experience that loss, and you also need enough new people who didn't experience that in the past who are willing to jump in and take a chance. And there's just something about human nature that says, hey, you know, this cryptocurrency Bitcoin thing, it used to be worth $20,000 and now it's, you know, $10,000 and the price looks like it's trending upwards. There's just something about human nature that says, I want that. And so that's going to attract a lot of people to buy, right? And of course, the price can go down. A lot of people are going to get wrecked. So as always, do your own research. Don't treat this like financial advice. But ultimately, I do see this bullish psychology in a lot of people that will definitely help, you know, propel the space forward. So now I want to talk about the use cases, because I think this is another big reason why this space is moving forward. One of the big problems the last crypto cycle was people got in here and they said, you know, where are the use cases? Show me the use cases. Now, if somebody says that, I basically just say, how is the 0.01% interest rate treating you inside your bank account? Because we have ways to earn competitive interest rates on your money right now with blockchain technology. You can just download a mobile app, transfer money into it, and start earning a better interest rate than you would inside your bank account. In many ways, savings rate is a killer app for blockchain technology. And you can do it on multiple platforms like Compound Finance, Aave, DYDX, 
And speaking of those last two, don't forget, we also have flash loans. This is where you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with zero money down. There's no red tape. You don't have to be approved and you can't lose the money. Now, how else are you going to do that in the traditional financial system? So yeah, since the last crypto cycle, we've seen a ton of technological innovation consolidate around the DeFi use case or decentralized finance uh, use case on the Ethereum platform. And sure, some of these solutions still need work, but they're massive progress since the last cycle. And so nobody can say, you know, show me the use cases anymore. So another big reason is that user experience has gotten a lot better in blockchain since the last cycle, and particularly in the area of onboarding. You know, I think that mobile applications are critical for blockchain adoption, and we didn't really have a lot of these in the last cycle. So I'll tell you why. You know, when people try to enter into space now, a lot of times they have to go to a kind of sketchy website that says, hey, you need to install a Chrome extension like this in your browser, and you need to go to a different website to buy some cryptocurrency before you can even use our app, okay? So this is not going to work for most people, and that's why I think mobile applications are critical. Here's why. People are already used to downloading new apps on their phone, okay? They're not used to installing Chrome extensions or, you know, buying cryptocurrency on an exchange somewhere. They'll download an app and a lot of times they have a payment method already added to their phone, like with Apple Pay, for example. We've seen some really good examples of great blockchain mobile apps pop up lately. So Dharma is an example. I did a video on this recently or also Argent. You can just download these apps onto your phone and they instantly generate a non-custodial wallet for you, okay? And so if you have a payment method already set up on your phone, you can just enter into the crypto space that way. You don't have to go to an exchange to buy cryptocurrency and then install an extension to start using the app. You just download the app and then click a button and you're ready to go. And you can instantly reap the benefits of blockchain technology inside the app, like the competitive interest rate that I talked about a minute ago. And you can just leave that app and enter into the broader uh, DeFi landscape and start using those in a more advanced way if you want to. So another big way that I see this space leaping forward is with infrastructure, okay? So a really good example is ETH 2.0. So I'll explain what I mean by that. So if you use Ethereum right now, you're a user of Ethereum 1.0. Pretty soon, you know, soon is a trademark, uh, we're going to see Ethereum 2.0 go online. And this is when it takes Ethereum out of the prototyping phase to get it ready for mainstream use. It'll be much more scalable. It'll support a much higher transaction volume, much faster speeds, and be a better experience for everybody who uses the network. And that was one of the big problems in the last cycle was, you know, people got into the space and realized, oh, this blockchain thing is really slow. In fact, you know, just one dApp, CryptoKitties clogged up the network for days. So ETH 2.0 will definitely ameliorate that problem and it could play a big role in the next cycle. And so that's where I think we're headed with this space. You know, I don't have any firm timelines. I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm very optimistic about the short to midterm. And I think things could get really exciting really soon. Okay, in, in some ways they already have, it's just that other people don't know about it yet. And that means right now is a really exciting time to focus on your blockchain skills. Because if you do that now, and then, you know, this space really takes off, then imagine the position you're going to be in whenever that happens. It's just sort of how you win at life in general, by being in the right place at the right time. And you're going to increase the likelihood of that if you kind of are skating wherever the puck is headed, so to speak. And that's why blockchain is so amazing. If I was starting over from scratch, this is what I would learn. Not general web development, not mobile development. I mean, those things are great, okay? They will definitely enhance your skills as a blockchain developer, but I wouldn't specialize in them. The only other thing that I would consider specializing in, and I'll, I'll be totally honest here, I'll show you my cards, would be uh, machine learning, okay? Because I think it's a fascinating field. I'm super interested in it myself, okay? But I still think blockchain has the edge for two reasons, one, I think the trend has greater upside potential in terms of market capitalization compared to where we are now, okay? Bigger room to grow, basically. And then number two is there are more ways to monetize the skill. Most developers have to either get a job, become a freelancer, build an app. But with blockchain, you can do things like, you know, do flash loans, build a cryptocurrency trading bot, all kinds of other stuff. And so that's why I think blockchain has the edge. And I'm super excited that you all want to see more tutorials about this stuff, okay? So let's talk about that. You know, I got a lot of overwhelming positive response since I created that last video about being done with blockchain tutorials. So I'm excited that you all want to see more and I'm going to deliver. And I'm going to show you things I've never covered on this channel before, okay? It's going to be like a Udemy course, but free. So get excited and watch out. You know, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. That'll make sure you see that video whenever I release it. And so I don't have the exact release date yet, but watch out. It's going to be very soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you something that people have been asking me about for years. They say, hey, where do I get started? Can you just show me like the starting point? So that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
My very next video is gonna be a start here video. So if you're brand new, you just watch this video and it will take you through all the steps you need to get started with blockchain development. That's all I got, everybody. You know, if you can't even wait until that video and you want to get started like learning these high value blockchain skills right now, you can head on over to my YouTube homepage. You can see all my other free courses there. You know, they're like Udemy courses, but they're just free here on YouTube. And if you want to take the next step or maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, uh, head on over to adapuniversity.com where I can show you how to master these blockchain skills step by step, show you how to build your own real world apps so that you can land a high paying job, become a freelancer, whatever. All right. That's all I got. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.